So I've been looking for something to uh, tidy up uh, my cables, my uh, coaxial cables here in the lab. Now I have got some hooks in the wall and I hang them off the uh, hooks but uh, really you know I'm getting too many cables and it's quite difficult to find the uh, correct cable you want. You end up grabbing them all off the hook and then uh, looking at the uh, SMA connectors on the end whether you want RPSMA or just uh, SMA. So I wanted something that was a little bit more tidy and uh, I had a look online and I couldn't really find anything that was made for the job and uh, even the ones that were made, you know, it's just a, a piece of metal with uh, some slits cut in, cost an absolute fortune and uh, I remember wandering around uh, the supermarket and I saw in the supermarket they have these kind of hooks coming out where, you know, you can pull something that's in packaging off. Uh, the rail sort of thing and uh, then I also remembered uh, going to a craft fair last year a uh, Christmas craft fair where there was this uh, young girl and her uh, father making these uh, wooden Christmas trees out of uh, circles they had uh, you know different size circles going up and they made these uh, quite nice Christmas trees uh, out of them I uh, picked one up and I uh, gave it away as a uh, present so those two ideas have kind of come together for uh, this here that uh, I've had in my head for a while as I say to uh, make some kind of uh, hook system to uh, hold all the coaxial cables of different lengths and uh, have them rotating so I can easily grab the uh, ones that I want. So at the moment you're looking here, this is uh, upside down, the uh, widest circle would be at the top like in this diagram here and I thought having them on a rod and spaces in between and then uh, I could turn them and uh, choose the cable you know off this uh, cable tree if you like uh, a little bit like you know how you uh, go into a shop and they have posters uh, that you can browse through on a uh, rack something similar to that so really simply then I've just gone along I've got my uh, round saw cutter a piece of scrap plywood and I've cut myself some uh, three uh, sets of circles out here at different diameters a really small one which will be uh, on the uh, bottom rung of the tree here and then this uh, middle sized one here go in the middle of course and then the larger ones at the top and uh, I've got a metal rod here and what I'm going to do is make some spaces to go in between and just create myself a uh, tree now as for the uh, metal uh, runners that the coax uh, slides down into I'm just using coat hanger wire I've got myself some of uh, these metal coat hangers that uh, you can pick up off eBay pretty cheaply I have been unable for years to find these in uh, any shops in the UK but on eBay they sell them in large quantities I think for the uh, dry cleaning industry but uh, I picked up 10 of these uh, for around £4.50 free shipping it gives you an excellent source of uh, wire and uh, I've cut this part of the uh, coat hanger out here you can see on this side because uh, I don't want it to be overly long because uh, it's not very strong wire and if I have it sticking out too far and then overload it with the uh, cables it would probably bend and I've also got this uh, little bit of a riser here on this end where I've uh, cut it out from the uh, coat hanger here and that will also stop any uh, coax from uh, sliding off the end so it acts as a little bit of a stopper and what's nice about coat hanger wire as well, it is uh, a little bit springy so you can slightly bend it and put tension on it and it will keep that tension to uh, nip all the uh, cables in place. So what I've done with the circles then is draw two holes quite close together and I've used a uh, template to make sure I get the same distance on each of them. I've just got uh, a piece of uh, uh, PCB prototyping board here and uh, drilled two holes in uh, to make the uh, holes that were already there a little bit wider and uh, just use that placing it on the uh, uh, wood here just to put uh, a couple of dots in there with a sharpie pen and then drill the holes uh, with the drill press going down into here and what I'm going to do is attach these with some glue permanently but I want to uh, spray these before I do that now I'm going to build this so it fits on the uh, edge corner of my uh, bench. Now I could probably add uh, some extra 
uh, runners on here so I could have two runners to each, each circle and uh, that way you could probably get away with having uh, so many circles but I want, what I want to do is just have the one because it's going to be hanging down off the uh, edge corner of my bench and uh, have more circles where I've got this movement here so you know I can arrange them a lot better but uh, you could quite easily uh, if you have the space put more runners on either side if you like and uh, just have them hanging down like that so I'm about ready to uh, put everything together as you can see I've painted the wood black just to uh, tidy it up a little bit I've epoxied uh, each one of these uh, metal rods into the side here and I've also got these uh, little uh, plastic end caps I uh, had a few of those uh, lying around just to tidy up the ends and uh, you know just makes a much uh, neater job of it and uh, what I'm going to do I've got this rod here that I've uh, saved from something I can't remember what it actually came from it just fits nicely in the hole that was left by the uh, hole saw uh, that I drilled in there so everything's going to fit nicely onto this rod and to space everything out I've just cut myself uh, some tube in here slightly thicker than the rod and uh, it'll just space everything out uh, quite nicely and again this tube in is something that I saved it's come from the uh, stem of the umbrella that uh, I had and didn't use with the uh, satellite dish folding umbrella that I made a few videos back so I tend not to throw everything away so everything I've uh, used to make this I already had here in the lab whether I've saved over time or I purchased these for something else and had some left over basically I've spent no money on this project at all so here it is on the bench then and as you can see I've loaded it up with some uh, lengths of coax and I'm pretty pleased how uh, this has turned out um, I think I could uh, possibly have some uh, larger diameter circles and uh, load it up with some more coax maybe make it even a little bit higher as well but uh, you know for uh, just something that uh, came to me and uh, I've just knocked it up in the afternoon here in the lab I think it's turned out uh, pretty well so as you can see I have gone ahead and put some uh, wider spaces in there it's just some uh, conduit that's used for uh, electrical cable you can pick it up from your uh, local hardware store pretty cheap and uh, you can see it sits a lot nicer now there is quite a lot of weight on that top one and I could probably get away with putting uh, some more rods opposite that one and have some more cables hanging down that way in fact uh, some of the top ones I could put some rods in the opposite direction and have uh, two lots of cables per disc rather than uh, just the one that it's got now but as you can see it really does do the job and uh, I can sort I can see the different sizes of cables there and it holds them all nice and straight nice and tidy so uh, they're not kinked anymore and uh, folded over on hooks so I'm really pleased how this has turned out and I'm really surprised you can't pick anything like this up uh, retail no nobody makes anything like this because you could use the same principle for uh, you know all kinds of different cables and uh, uh, you know basically alligator clip cables and that sort of thing uh, would work really well as well and I just wanted to uh, end the video showing you this one that I've uh, made for my semi-rigid cables uh, a lot simpler to make it's just got a wooden dowel and uh, two circles that I've cut out with the saw it's got quite a large base on this one because uh, it does lean forward a little bit because it's just a wooden dowel but it uh, is quite stable there and it's pretty handy this one because I can just pick it up and place it wherever I'm working normally it just sits on top of my uh, spectrum analyzer but because it's so small I can just move it onto this bench if I'm doing some work on this bench so I hope uh, you found this uh, video useful it uh, can be a problem as soon as you you get into a hobby like this and you start collecting all the cables um, you know he if you don't have some kind of uh, good storage options you can end up damaging the cables themselves so uh, you know if you have a go at building one of these please let us know how you got on in the comments and uh, any questions please drop them below as well and uh, hopefully you enjoyed it and give it a thumbs up and uh, hopefully you'll join me on the next one